Hello and welcome to the 30th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at how to play sound effects repeatedly. We'll be using the source code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with loads of useful functionality to play audio. We will take a look at playing sound effects, which are usually small, quick audio files, for example, in a game, when you fire a gun, a shooting sound effect could play, or when walking, a sound effect could play. But we will, we will make the sound effect play repeatedly. There may be a situation where you just want the sound effect to be constantly played once it's being triggered. First of all, we need to add our sound files to our project. So if we go to our project directory, go to res, you want to create a folder in here called sound, or you can call it whatever you want, just make sure you know what it is when you reference it. And now what you're going to do is just add a sound effect file. Actually, no, that's, not, yeah, sorry, that is the one. For some reason I thought that was in the file. Yeah, uh, then let's add it to your sound directory. Now we're going to open up our resources.js right here. And this isn't actually necessary, but we're going to add our resources here. It allows us to use a keyword for accessing the resource, aka something like this. And if we need to change the original file, maybe it's re being renamed, or we've got a different file now, but it's referenced, let's say this keyword is referenced several times in the code, and we still want this to be referenced, but we just need to make a change to this. We can, it's simple, we can make a change in the resources folder, which is a great thing about this. So what we're going to do is do collide underscore sound. You can name whatever you want, underscores aren't necessary. Colon. We're not going to use folder as we don't have individual sound effects for the different resolutions. We're just going to do res forward slash sound forward slash collide dot wav. You can save this now. And now the next step is to open up our app.js, aka this file here. And now what we're going to do, simply after we've added this sprite, Play the audio file. To do that, you do cc dot audio engine dot play effect. You do res dot collide underscore sound. And now you just, if you want to play the sound effect repeatedly, you just put true at the end. Save that. And now what we're going to do is just run our project. So if we open up terminal, chain directory to our project directory, run it using the cocos run command, it's going to run it in the web browser. As you can see, it is constantly playing that sound effect. The next, let's just go off this a second so I can talk. The next tutorial will cover um, setting the sound effect volume. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.